Vashik, uh, great match today, great performance against uh, obviously a, a fellow Canadian and uh, player Milos, who's, who's been playing great over the past week. Uh, how much do you think that, that played into things just ahead of the match that you are facing a, a fellow Canadian? And uh, how are you over to overcome that challenge? Yeah, I think I think especially the first set, it probably had a bit of an effect on both of us. I think we were both we both started a little bit, uh, maybe a little bit slower, a little bit shaky. Like you know, I, I could I could feel there was a little bit of nerves on the court from both sides, and then and then I just felt as the match went on. I mean, I I felt a lot more comfortable, and I found a really good groove, and I was moving really well, and I was. I mean, he's serving incredibly well, but I was um, felt like I got a relatively good read on his serve. And then the key for the match today on my end was that I was uh, serving extremely well and and and, be, and able to to hold my service games with you know relative comfort and uh, which which made it a little bit easier um, you know for for the rest of the match. But yeah, but to answer your question, nice playing a follow? yeah, but to, to play a Canadian obviously is always is always tricky, right? You, you, I mean, especially with someone like Milos that I've known for basically my whole tennis career. You know, we we grew up together. We were the top two in Canada for our age groups, so we're we're the same age. So obviously, we have a bit of a a history for sure. Also, uh, just just wondering because uh, you actually didn't have a, a lead up tournament for this event uh, for the U.S. Open, and you, you were playing great, obviously, at the beginning of 2020. But Raonic was in form; he made the finals uh, just last week uh, in the Cincinnati event. Were, were you concerned at all heading to Flushing Meadows that you, you didn't have official match play on the ATP since the hiatus? Yeah, I was for sure. I mean, I. I uh... I didn't feel great in practice leading up to my first round match. And, you know, I just I just tried to take it as, you know, I was trying to be realistic with, with the fact that maybe it would take me a couple of tournaments to get into the swing of things. And then about two or three days before my first round, I, I actually really got a good rhythm. And I was like, okay, like, you know, I feel like I can maybe do something here this week. Um, but it wasn't really until the last two or three days before my first round. Uh, prior to that, I just felt a little bit rusty. Uh, even though I'd been training hard, obviously once you know match play is is, is different, and um, but I I feel like you know even today I played even quite a bit better than in the first round, which is which is great. So definitely feel like I'm right back where I left off. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Vashik. If you could just turn to the screen on your left, uh, yep. it's it's kind of a similar type of question, but it's from Richard of Tennis Now. What was your game plan going into this match, considering you know each other's game so well? What was key to the match for you today, and what's the intensity like playing a fellow Canadian? Seems to be a big topic. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I um, playing Milos is never, never easy, uh, because, you know, he's the kind of player that has so many weapons when he's when he has time on the ball, he he's you know Don't put he, it up yet. he puts you in, in defensive and uh, and that's not where you want to be when you're playing him. So I guess my game plan kind of going in was was what it you know what it was the last time I played him when I was able to win as well. And I just wanted to take time away. Obviously, serving well is is really important. And I felt like I in the first set I was I was a, you know wasn't quite dialed in and I wasn't really hitting through the court uh, as much as I would have liked to. I felt like he had a little bit too much time and then. I tried to make that adjustment uh, early on in the, in the second set, and he's just one of those guys that that you can't you know you can't give him time. He's just he has a very heavy ball. He's a really big guy, and he's got big strokes. And uh, so if you can play quick, then then that's better. But it's easier said than done because uh, he's obviously has a huge serve and and um, a lot of power. So it's not always easy to 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 accomplish that game plan. But I was able to do that again today. Okay, thank you. Let's go back to the video board uh, in front of you. Daniel from Chip Charge. Daniel, you are live. Hi, Vashik, how are you? Hey, yeah. good, thanks. Um, I noticed that uh, on your T-shirt, you, you have a Huawei oh. as sponsor. Oh, yeah. And I, yeah, and I wonder whether why in New York you're having 5G mobile coverage from them. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. I am. No, they've been, they've been, uh, yeah, very good to me. Very, very nice. Um, a really great sponsor. They've been really treating me extremely well and, and I have a, a really great partnership with them the last, the last year. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, 
uh, I'm having great, great service from them and uh, great products, and I'm, I'm very happy. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. If you can uh, look once again to the uh, blue screen left. on your left, Willie yep. Weinbaum from ESPN. Oh, okay. You haven't played your next opponent in a long time. How would you describe your style of play and his, and what keys to the match will be? Um, blue screen right here, or doesn't matter. Blue you don't screen. have to talk to the blue screen. Okay, I just yeah. wanted you to see it on the blue screen. Oh, I see. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, very tricky opponent. I mean, uh, I've, I've played Roberto a couple times. He's especially playing a best of five match against against him. He's he's obviously really in form. Uh, he made semis last week. He almost beat Novak. So he's obviously, you know, the draw doesn't get any easier. And um it's going to be a really tough match. I think it's one of those one of those guys that I'll have to try to keep the points short because definitely, I mean, the longer the points go and the match goes, the the, the worse for me. There's no doubt about that. So uh, I'm just going to try to play aggressive and use my strengths and try to, you know, that give myself the best chance of winning the match, which is, you know, uh, keeping the points short and trying to use my weapons. So uh, very solid player, um, super fit. You know, he gets to a lot of balls, but. Uh, um, but you know, I, I definitely have you know some weapons in my arsenal that I hopefully will will disturb him. Okay, uh, this one is not on the blue screen, but it is a written question of Tom from Tennis Canada. How do you explain your fine form and how well you have been playing? Um, like this this week, I get uh, this week. Um, or just in general, I don't know. I guess it's a written question. I don't know if he means before uh, before COVID as well. But um, no, I mean I think in general when I came back from from the surgery, I I just uh, I, I felt like a different, a little bit like I matured and I felt like a different player out there. I felt quite a bit more relaxed and confident and and all, on, honestly also just working with a new coach and working with my old fitness trainer. Uh, I feel like I'm moving as you know as good as I've moved in the last four or five years. And the other thing is I don't have any back issues, which, which was huge. I think that that's, you know, obviously it goes, goes without saying how important it is to be healthy on the court. And I think uh, I, I hadn't felt this way physically uh, since, you know, I had my big back issues, I guess, in 2015 and onwards. So um, I just kind of took it as, you know, as normal to, I, I just assumed that it was just a normal part of sport that everyone had to deal with having, pains every three, four weeks, but uh, clearly it wasn't normal because now I feel amazing. Um, and I mean, ba back the last four years or so, I, I couldn't go three, four weeks without having to take a couple of days off from a, some kind of back issue and sometimes 10 days sometimes. So um, yeah, I, I think it's, a, it's not so simple. It's, there's a lot, it's a complicated answer. There's a lot of, a lot of things that go into it. Like I said, coach, my, you know, my mentality, how much I've matured as well. Uh, my fitness trainer back injury is, is no longer an issue, knock on wood, but uh, there's a lot of things for sure. Okay, back to the video boards. Let's go to Jackie from the Sporting News. Jackie, you are live. Hi, I was just wondering, you've talked a lot about Milos' game today and what you saw from him. But what, what did you like about your game today? <laughs> Oh yeah, well I, I I served extremely well. I mean I I felt like I was I was pressuring. Him. I feel like when I when I got into the rally and we were uh, kind of neutral that I was uh, I had a little bit of the upper hand. I was I was trying to make sure I was playing you know through the court so that he wouldn't get time. And I felt like I just executed extremely well. I was I was calm throughout the whole match. I I was adjusting really well. I was um, you know just calm mind and and was adapting quickly I mean when if there was something that was happening in the match that you know I, I was picking up on patterns very quickly and and I was adjusting uh the right things even on mind if you know if I didn't feel one stroke you know if I didn't feel like I was hitting my backhand well or, or if I lost you know my surf for a game or two I just ad adjusted things very quickly and and just played really a, a good match executed well and came in on the short balls and put pressure and and uh yeah I mean when you're you know, one of those days where, where, um, where you, you know, you play a very clean match is not always the case. Thank you. Uh, we're still trying to work out technical difficulties with Tom. So, Tom, if you <laughs> do not on, have... Tom. Yo, Tom's got his audio. There you go, Tom. Let's go. <laughs> 
your aspect here. You don't want to know about this. Anyway, the question <laughs> is actually, you you only played, you haven't played since February, right? Yeah, since February, right? Yeah, and and so, yeah, and so you hadn't played a tournament right. game at all, right? Milo looks like it's really hot last week. Get to the final. Yeah, you get into this match. Everybody thinks he's you know red hot, and you're not. How do you explain how well you played and and managed to pull it off? Yeah, I mean, I. I knew it was going to be very tough. I mean, I, I saw Milos play last week, and I and I was, you know, could see he was he was really in form. And then, uh, but I got you know confidence from from how I played the last match. I, I played better than I expected because I like I said I didn't play great in practice leading up, and I played better than I expected. And I was like, okay, like obviously I know like I have a, you know a certain amount of confidence in myself and in my game and in the strengths that I have that. If I feel like I'm playing well and I'm moving well, that's 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 key. If I'm my court coverage is good, I, I feel like I have a lot of weapons that I can give, you know, that I can play and give myself a chance to to beat almost anybody on the tour if I'm really playing well. So I think after my first round win with with Cole Schreiber and seeing that, you know, he's a veteran, very tough opponent, and seeing how well I was playing in that match, I I just kind of flipped a little bit of a mental switch. I was like, okay, like I'm I'm playing as good as I. As I did when I before uh, before the break, so for sure a little bit of a surprise, definitely because I, you know, I didn't even play any practice really matches uh, until a week or ten, I'd say about ten days before the Open. Uh, you know, didn't have any exhibitions or anything, and obviously going into competition is quite a bit different. But uh, I guess this just shows that I, you know, I, I put in, I was training the right way and and doing fitness and prepared myself to to take my my chance this week and. And uh, yeah, I'm just glad that I kind of left off where I mean, continuing from that, continuing from where I left off before the the break. Did anybody ask about your back and the treatment on court? Uh, did anybody ask about that? No, no. Uh, basically, I strained my uh, two days before my first round. I strained like my I don't know what it is, like my ab or my like kind of this like low like mid back abdominal uh area so i was really hurting on my serve for two days before the first round and then and then uh you know i uh, was able to manage it in the first round didn't feel it and then didn't feel it yesterday and then didn't feel it in the first set here until until i think i just like felt like i aggravated it for a couple games there and then i got some treatment and took some you know anti-inflammatories and tylenol and and uh, it luckily, it went away. But uh, yeah, I'll have to monitor that for sure because it's 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 kind of a tricky area, and and um, I was really struggling to to play for a couple of days leading up to to the event. So, uh, but right now, I finished well. The rest of the match was was fine. So that that's definitely good. But it's but it is a tricky area, and I'll have to be careful. Okay. Thanks. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Vashek. Thank you very much. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks. Bye, bye.